Hey guys, it's Danny from Origin Films, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do the slider effect for Instagram. really simple technique once you get the method down and it can be used to create unlimited slides if you really understand the concept. In this video, I'll be breaking down the method into two parts. The first part consists of understanding Instagram dimensions and the second part is actually how to physically do it in Photoshop. Let's go. There are two dimensions for Instagram that you really need to know. The first one being your maximum resolution for portraits, which is 1080 by 1350 and your second dimension being your basic square framing, which is 1080 by 1080. Now these dimensions are super important because they translate how you're going to crop your image in Photoshop. To break it down in simplest terms, what you're going to do once you have your final edit of your photo is break that image into 1080 by 1350 segments so when you upload those multi-image posts in Instagram, you're gonna get seamless transitions when you swipe through. So when you have your finished product, I'm just gonna show you guys quickly the before and after. So I uploaded my photo into Lightroom, did a little bit of basic editing, brought it over into Photoshop, and then I threw a couple overlays on it to get this kind of cool effect. So once you get the image done and ready for exporting. Um, I'm just going to merge these layers really quickly to get one final photo. And now what you're going to do is press Control A or Command A on your keyboard and you're going to copy and paste this entire image onto a new canvas. So I already have a pre-made canvas for Instagram portraits, um, but for your reference you can take a look at the dimensions I have on the right over here. The width is 1080, the height is 1350, and the resolution is 96. I found that using 96 gave me the best resolution when exporting to Instagram. So now that you go ahead and create your canvas, we're going to go ahead and paste our image onto this canvas. And the first thing you notice is that the image is too big. So I'm going to resize it to kind of, basically I'm going to compose what I think the final product should look like when I slide across. So what you want to kind of do is eye out where you think the two images will be split. So as I mentioned earlier, you're basically going to be splitting this image into two segments that are both 1080 by 1350 each. So if I take this composition now, I can kind of eye it right now and I can see that there's going to be enough room for the second half of my image. Um, so I'm just going to move it over just a little bit and this next part is going to be really simple. So now that we have our first part of our image, what I'm assuming is going to be my first half, all I'm going to do is press Command Save and I'm actually gonna save this as part one. I've already done it earlier just to make sure that it works, um, but we're just gonna overwrite these for the purpose of this tutorial. So once you save your first part, now this second part can be really up to you. You can use any method you want. Um, I'm gonna use the method that I found was the simplest, which was simply to draw a black line over the very edge of the image. So what I did was I, I took the square tool basically selected a box so it cuts out to the very edge of this photo and I drew a black line. Um, now what we're going to do is select the image and we're just going to move it while holding shift to make sure that the alignment stays exactly horizontal and move it to where I think this black line ends. Now it's really simple, all you need to do is zoom in really really close to your image and you can notice in Photoshop that the amount of pixels from the edge of the image will show. So I'm just gonna use my keyboard and go all the way to where this black line basically ends. And that's where I know in my second composition, um, basically where it's seamlessly gonna transition. So now that I've composed both of my images, I'm gonna save this image as part two. And once you're done, you can just upload it into your phone and post it as a multi-post so when you slide you'll see that both the images transition seamlessly. So once you've gone and exported both of your photos into your phone you're simply just going to go to Instagram find your two posts um, so I'm going to select my part one select multi post and select the second part of my image and then just go ahead and export um, to my Instagram. Now it's really important that when you're editing the photo you're editing them both exactly the same. So I would recommend just using a LUT or one of the filters so that you're affecting both images simultaneously. Otherwise going in and messing around with each individual setting is gonna be a really time consuming task. Um, so once you're done, just go ahead and click next. 
and then we're just gonna share this out. So here's our final product of our photo and as you can see when you go ahead and transition over you have a seamless transition so you won't be able to see the crease at all in this in this image um, and that's basically it. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all that bullshit. Alright, peace. <laughs>